All right, mixing up rhythms. Every bar is a different rhythm. So it's similar to what you've done before. I think it was number three from a couple weeks ago. Uh, but we had like that rhythm, did that twice, like two bars in a row. Then we did the next rhythm, two bars in a row, and so on. So now we're just changing faster, or changing more frequent, just to make it a little bit more challenging. Okay. 60 beats per minute. Number one. One, two, three, four. One and two and three, four. One, two, three and four. One, two, three and four and one and two, three, four and one, two and three, four and one and two. Hundred twenty. One, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, and four, one, two. That was terrible. One, two, three, four, one and two and three, four, one, two and three and four, one, two, three and four and one and two, three, four and one, two and three, four and one and two, three and four done. Okay, number two. Spending no more than 10 minutes working this up in five beat per minute increments. Uh, if, if you get to a point where you have maxed out on your speed in less than 10 minutes, that's fine. You don't need to keep going. I just don't want you to spend too much time, too much time on it. So this is in 3 4. I'm still going to count off 4 because that's what we usually do. But it is going one and two and three. One and two and three. So you can do this with distortion or clean. It works fine because they're power chords. So 60 beats per minute, number two. And when you're doing this, anytime you hear something that sounds wrong or funny, address it right away. Re, you know, shape your hand to make it sound good and then start it over again. All right, here we go. One, two, three. Four. one you definitely want to clean. Okay, let's make setting change. Okay, this also working it up by 5 BPM increments, so this way you just get used to moving this bar around and working on controlling it. And you may not get too fast with it, and that's fine still like no more than 10 minutes kind of thing and you can also stop after your hands start you know, getting ridiculously tired because there's a good chance that'll happen while practicing bar chords it does require quite a bit of uh, hand endurance but uh, here it is at 60 beats per minute one two three four
Number four, no speed for this. Just want you to get through it best you can. And it looks like it's pretty much on screen. I guess the chords are a little bit chopped off there, but you can see the music. So yeah, just a matter of holding the chord shape. Take your time making it down. Anytime you hear something that does not sound good, just your hand. So no need to start this one over when you need to make a hand adjustment. Just going to continue on from where you're at. Same thing with number five. Yeah, I'm not going to get all this on screen, I don't think. Well, it might look too small. Yeah, that's pretty, cool. pretty close there. Pretty close to everything. So anyway, yeah, you start this shape here. It's a major. Move it up a string. It becomes minor. And that's because of how the strings of the guitar are tuned. So just like number four, no speed for this. Just get through the thing best you can and just make all the notes sound clean if anything sounds funny make the adjustment right at that point and then continue on from there so something like this The other thing, yes, scale stuff. <clears throat> so, if you learned and memorized that C Ionian shape of the C major scale, did you start with that each day? It's this way you make sure that you keep it, keep it in your brain. So, if you got that one, then yeah, just like take a look at the D Dorian shape, run it through it a few times. It's like three times a day to start with, and then eventually you'll have it in your, in your memory, and then you're good. So, yeah, just do that as a warm-up thing. You can do numbers four and five as part of the warm-up for this week, and then get on to the other stuff. All right, so I think that covers it all. But if any questions come up, let me know, and I'll see you again next week.